Hello, my name is Joseph Pizzano, and I'm here today to talk to you about an incredible BuddyPress plugin entitled BuddyStream. BuddyStream is a social network's synchronizing plugin that allows you to import information, status updates, etc., from other social networks into your BuddyPress site. BuddyPress is easy for you to use, easy to implement, and has incredible amount of control for you as both an admin and also for the users as well. This currently works with Twitter, with Facebook, with Last.fm, with YouTube, and with Flickr. There are also plans for incorporating and including even more social networks into the BuddyStream plugin in the near future. So what I thought I would do today is show you a little bit about the front end and the back end of the BuddyStream plugin and give you a good idea of how it works. So we're going to start by opening up the public activity stream of BuddyStream.net. This is typical of what you would see on any BuddyStream, or I'm sorry, BuddyPress website. So here I have the ability to input information in a status update. I'm going to type in this is a test. Typically when I hit post update, this is going to simply just go to you can see it down here. It's going to go to the BuddyStream site itself. If I were to include another one, this is another test, and click the to Twitter button, you're going to see that this little hashtag comes up here, and there's also a little count that comes on, which is a really cool feature of BuddyStream that counts your characters because Twitter restricts to 140 characters. As I type, you can actually see that go down. If I hit post update right now, that will all that will go to the BuddyPress site as well as Twitter. In addition, we have the ability to send this out to Facebook as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little filter on here and show you some tweets. This is just going to show you the tweets. These are all being imported into this BuddyStream site. If I go down far enough, you'll see a couple of uh, tweets by me. So let's just scroll down. Okay, here I am right here, and. You can see on here that it says, I posted a tweet. You can see the little tweet icon. This is actually coming from Twitter itself, and I enabled the Twitter to be integrated in my profile on the BuddyPress site. Now, let's just take a look real quick before we go to the back end at the, what it would look like if we were using YouTube or we're looking at YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and filter to the YouTube right now. You can see on here, this fellow has posted a video uh, from YouTube. Again, the user has set up this integration for their site to pull information from YouTube right into your BuddyPress site. Now we'll take a minute and we're going to go over to the back end so you can get a look at what this looks like with the BuddyStream plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here on BuddyStream. All right, this is the back end. And uh, you can see over here a little box that is the BuddyStream box. This is what you see when you enable this plugin. You have the general controls, and then there are a bunch of controls for each of the social networks that you decide to integrate. Now, if I go to the top of this, you'll see some BuddyStream import settings on here. You have the ability to use your own cron jobs, or you can use background importing. If you do use cron jobs, this plugin will automatically come up with the right cron job command for you to input into your uh, cron job itself. Also, you can use background importing on here which basically every time someone comes to the website, every so often it's going to go ahead and trigger the import settings for the BuddyStream plugin. There's complete control for you over what networks that you decide to turn on and off. You can see over here, this is the Twitter integration. This is currently on. The Facebook is currently on. Flickr, Last.fm, and YouTube is all currently on. This allows the admin to control which integrations they would like to have available for their users on their site. Very quickly, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Facebook um, settings of the BuddyStream plugin. And uh, you can see here that this is the, the Facebook API. It's very similar if you were to look at the twi Twitter API on here. You have to actually go ahead and get um, you have to actually go ahead and get an application ID from Twitter and from Facebook, and there's a quick link directly to that within the plugin itself. Once you uh, get that information, you simply put your application ID and your secret key into the plugin. Now, down on the bottom here, there's just there's a there's a huge amount of control for the admin to control what they would like to allow to be imported by their users. So here we have the overall option to hide it. But 
we can also include uh, sync the links or sync the photos or sync the videos, sync the updates, any and or all of those things can be controlled by the admin. At the bottom of this, there's another limiter on here that, that says basically if you would like to limit the total amount of Facebook imports per user per day, this is where you can put that in here. So if I wanted to just limit my, um, my Facebook using integration users on here, we can simply put in any number we'd like. Six would allow them to import six items per day. There's even finer control of this application, which is what makes it totally cool by using, uh, totally cool and useful and functional for administrators, like in the field filters over here. Um, in the filters, we have the ability to have good filters. Um, this is this is a fantastic integration because most admins don't want users to just import everything from their Facebook or, or Twitter streams into the site. By adding filters into this little box right here, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the hashtag and the word allow in here. Only Facebook updates that have this hashtag are going to be imported. Likewise, we have the ability to have an, ex an explicit word filter. Any type of tweet or Facebook or update that contains a word that you would not like, um, you can put that in this particular box and it's going to pull those out. Another option, uh, another option on here is to, to press the statistics, which actually each, each one of the integrations have their own statistics, which is very useful for the admin to gather some pretty interesting um, data on here. In here, this is the, the amount of users on this site. The amount of users using Facebook integration, that's because I have that uh, currently, looks like it's on, but it's currently off for testing right now. And uh, the amount of activity updates, the percentage of Facebook items, and so forth. In addition, we can also see which users have went ahead to and opted to turn on their Facebook um, integration. Along with that, along with that, we have the ability to reset um, every user on here as well. So if there's an issue with their account, you can simply reset. You can simply reset that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the general settings here. By resetting a user, it's also important to note that they'll have to go ahead and they're going to have to re-enable or re-authenticate the um, re-authenticate the program with their account. So let's uh, take a look back here at the BuddyStream site real quick. We'll go back to the front end. See here we are at the front end of this, and uh, basically back where we started. So um, in a nutshell. The BuddyStream plugin is going to allow you to integrate a much larger network or a system of networks into your own BuddyPress WordPress site. It's getting better all the time. I hope that uh, you, you take a chance to try it out. And also, if you are so inclined, uh, I know that uh, Peter Hoffman, the the developer of this plugin has done an, has done an absolutely incredible job, and uh, he's uh, seeking donations for his hard work. So if you're so inclined and you find this useful, you can very easily find the donate links on the BuddyStream site, and uh, and hopefully, if it's useful for you, you'll consider making a donation to make this plugin even better. Again, my name is Joseph Pizzano, talking about the BuddyStream social network synchronizing plugin.